Hello everyone, this is Summer Erin and today we're going to be talking about why the Sims 4 team went with the art style they did and what it reveals about the development of the Sims 4 game and honestly a couple of things that are wrong with the Sims 4. Before we go ahead and get started, my name is Simmer Erin. I do Sims 4 news, speculation, and info videos, as well as paralyzed news, speculation, info videos, and I have playlists for both, as well as some really scary old videos if you want to wander out there. And if you are new here, go ahead, drop a comment, say hi, I would love to meet you, just say something about yourself, what do you like about The Sims, a favorite hobby, I don't care what it is. Any case, we're going to go right into this. Now, I do want to say there are going to be some positive Sims 4 videos on the horizon, just getting some perspective on some people who really do like the game and kind of seeing what they like about it as well, just because I think it's really interesting to get different perspectives and important on my channel. But in any case, today is not that day because we are looking at some old art renders that were actually released by Sims VIP, so credit to them. These art renders do show us how the style of The Sims 4 has evolved and potentially why they went for the more cartoony style they did. Now, a couple preferences right off the bat. I don't have a huge preference for one style over the other. When I first saw The Sims 4 art style, I honestly didn't like it. And I think it was because I was playing Sims 3 at the time and I just wasn't sure. And then it was weird because the longer I looked at it, the more I liked it. And now I really do like the art style of The Sims 4 for the most part. I think my ideal would be somewhere in between Sims 3 and Sims 4. Obviously optimized, updated graphics. Because I kind of like realism, but I also kind of like the cartoony look. So I'm one of those terrible people that I used to always blend Maxis Match CC with Alpha CC. So that's just my bias aside. This is not about the art style being bad. In fact, I think that The Sims 4 is a gorgeous game. A lot of people think it is as well. But it's really curious to just see how it's evolved. And one of the reasons I think they did go with the cartoony style, there are a couple reasons. Number one, targeting a new audience. We've talked about that on my channel. Number two, maybe for performance issues. But number three comes in this video, and that's all about how this game started and why The Sims 4 still feels a little bit underdeveloped after six years. So let's go ahead and look at these renders and I'll explain what I mean. So the first render is actually from someone named Brian Steffel. He was a former member of The Sims team and he posted his early character prototypes for The Sims 4 on his art station profile. So this shows a picture of a teen and I guess her mother who is disapproving of that teen. And I do swear that we did get some of those items in game. That hairstyle looks familiar to me. I think that the top looks familiar. The low rise jeans, gotta love those. Kinda gives me 90s, no early 2000s vibes. I don't know, I'm dating myself. But in any case, here are some early art renders. You can also see how they're trying to map out different body types. Obviously there are only two body types being represented here. And it became way more nuanced than that, but it is really interesting looking at this. So looking here too, you can see the animation. And then at the end of this, you guys might find this interesting. There's a render of a teen rock star. So we're going to see something else about teens later in this video. So keep staying tuned because it shows that maybe they had different things planned for teens. And obviously we haven't really been able to have a teen rock star. I mean... We do have Get Famous, but there's not any teen specific content. And that would be cool because a lot of people really did want a band pack. And I know a lot of people would love it if we were able to make some teen bands. But here's the juicy part. After 2013's release of SimCity, and again, this is all from Sims VIP, was panned by critics and players for its multiplayer aspects and always online gameplay. The Sims 4 was hurriedly retold into a single player game. Part of this retooling meant transferring to a new game engine. The below art was used as a pitch to change the art style of the game when moving to the new engine. So this is at the heart of it right here. This is why, first of all, they switched from an online version is because SimCity Kaplunked, it failed. And so the Sims team decided last minute, oh crap, we can't do this because SimCity failed. So we're going to try to transition what was going to be an all online game into a single player game. And while, by the way, I am glad we have a single player game, the problem was 
you can't just automatically transfer something that's meant to be multiplayer online into a single player game. There's a lot of things that have to go into this and my personal opinion is they rushed it and they released it as is anyway and that's why we are at the state of where we are. But dramatic thing aside, let's look at this because I think this is really interesting. So this is a style guide for what it looked like before. You can see some subtle differences what it looked like before for what it would have been if it was an all online version versus The Sims 4. So you can see the fine tuning there. That's also an example right here as they were trying to progress what The Sims would look like. There's some other images I find really interesting, some poses of The Sims. You'll also see some hairstyles right here, which I would argue we didn't really, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't even think we got dreads in the base game. Actually, maybe we did. Maybe they're just really bad textures. I can't honestly remember. But those are the hair textures. I find that interesting as well. And then we've got some examples. And then we've got some examples of some other outfits, but this is the team thing you guys might find interesting down here. You will see a bunch of Sims posing right here. Honestly, they still don't look like Sims 4 Sims in this picture at all to me. But is that supposed to be a teen in that outfit? And if it is, you can clearly see that she is a different height than the adults. So was it possible they originally did plan for teens to be a different height? Did they originally plan for them to have more gameplay, like be a rock star? Was that in the multiplayer version and then they scrapped it for the single player version? I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments below. I don't think that looks like a child though. If it looks like a child, she looks very mature and she is definitely, definitely a different height than the other people. In fact, even the elder Sim looks like she is shorter as well. So I was wondering if they were considering height at one point and then they scratched it. Now to round off this video, we actually have some other renders which have some kind of questionable designs in my opinion, but you guys can let me know what you think. These were for a early prototype as well and the artist said, for this project, my main responsibility was to create prototype items such as hairstyles, clothes, and accessories. The image below are all prototypes. For Sims 4, the art budget was quite low. Think about that. So back when it was first being developed, the art budget was actually low. So we had no normal mapping or specular mapping. So they weren't given the tools they were needed even for the graphics when they were creating this game. We had to paint in all the shadows and highlights into diffuse maps and ended up looking quite nice and we created a new look for the game. So this first image, which honestly they rendered it when they when they labeled these images, I was a little like, are you serious? This is called the feisty Latina, which is a stereotype. So I was a little disturbed to see that. But anyway, there's her and I think I might, I don't know, depending on how I edit this video, you might see her in two different body shapes. And then, believe it or not, take a guess, take a wild guess who this is supposed to be because you are not gonna guess right. Just take a minute, guess, comment below. Okay, it's Oprah. This is supposed to be Oprah Winfrey. This is exactly the problem right here, right? So not only did the Sims team have a low art budget to start out with, not only was it supposed to be online and they tried to switch real quickly to single player, but they are having trouble representing different minorities for prob problematic means. And they should have known, for example, that for this, this just does not look like Oprah whatsoever. So you can let me know what you think about that as well. Then there's just some other images, not nearly as problematic. And then there's like a teen at the end. But I don't know. This probably wasn't supposed to be juicy. And I'm not trying to create drama, but honestly... These renders tell me a lot about the development of The Sims 4 and probably where it went wrong. It is also why I have some hope for The Sims 5 though, so hear me out. If they go into The Sims 5 accepting it's not going to be a fully online game, maybe they can actually set things up so they A, have a decent art budget, B, understand that the core elements of this kind of single player game are going to be way different than what is needed for a fully online game, then they can be more prepared. And then thirdly, I really hope they get more diversity on the team because it is clear to me that not only do they sometimes not know what to do or they, they don't add stuff, 
but they blatantly in some of these renders I think kind of misrepresented minorities and so I think it is really important to have minorities not just speaking out in the community but definitely a part of the main team so let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I'm sorry if this was a little bit rambly, but I found this really interesting. And again, this isn't about saying that The Sims 4 is bad, and I do think that the art style actually did turn out really beautiful. It's a gorgeous game. But it's a way to think about how could things be better, and things could be better by starting off on the right foot and giving this game the budget it deserves for the fans and giving it the attention and time to develop it. So on that note, I'm going to let you go. Let me know again what do you think in the comments below. Be kind to each other. No fighting in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.